outperform growth. What's the appeal of a growth stock right now? Well, I think growth has its, has its day uh, against value every so often, and you'll see periods of time where one style will beat the other. We, we tend to believe that growth as a condition over time is a good long-term strategy. Uh, Dividend-paying stocks, value-based stocks, of course, did real well in the first quarter, first half of the year. But we think growth stocks in particular have potential to continue to surprise investors. One of the things uh, that stocks of all sorts get priced on on a day-to-day -day basis is their ability to exceed investor expectations. And companies that are growing, uh, truly taking market share, have some pricing power, uh, maybe disrupting the markets that they compete in, uh, those companies are on the margin more likely to disrupt uh, to, to outperform and to surprise investors to the upside. So we like growth stocks kind of permanently. You know, when you're a hammer, all problems look like <laughs> a nail. But, but we think growth stocks really provide that long-term opportunity to surprise investors, be revalued, and have the stock prices increase. Well, let me ask you right off the bat about Apple, which recently reported quarterly earnings. It, do you buy more of it? Do you sell it? Do you just hold it? How does your opinion of Apple change based on what we heard from the company? Sure. Um, <clears throat> we like Apple quite a bit, and it's, it's, it's a couple of reasons primarily why. Number one, we had a lowering of expectations over the last uh, 9 to 12 months as the company grew to a very large, the single largest company in the, uh, in the index. And then what we saw as expectations finally caught up with reality is that the stock started to underperform. And then as it pulled back, we got more interested in Apple, uh, particularly around $400 really on the focus of what the new phones will look like, not just the 5S and the 5C, which we see today, but what the 6 could be next year with a larger form factor and a larger screen. We've seen good strength in the ecosystem uh, for Apple in general. We've seen them take market share in phones and sort of hold on to it, even though Androids try to come back. So we think over the next one to two years, Apple's growth will actually turn back positive again, start beating expectations, and have another product cycle.